What are you seeing? It's the food giver. Yes. Molly in. Rubbish. So Thursday night, we are back at King's Marina in Newark. Somewhere over there, somewhere. Here's Rob Pearson. I don't know where. But uh, might catch up with him in the morning. But look at this for a beautiful night. We've had the best of the weather. I think the next week the weather's going to be a little bit shit. But, well, I mustn't grumble. So, I don't really care. Look at these guys over here. Isn't that lovely? So, yes, we're not going to count this day, day, whatever it is, 12 or whatever. Um, because it's not. It's 9 o'clock at night. We've only just got back. So, tomorrow, the journey continues in earnest because the Canal and River Trust, at last have managed to unbreak Gunthorpe Lock. So we're going to try and head through before it breaks again. Here's the Canal and River Trust after all. But here we are. Look at this, isn't this lovely? This is King's Marina in Newark. King's Marina and Waterfront here in sunny, <laughs> nice, not quite so sunny. Uh, Newark and uh, those who follow these little journeys might recognize someone called Rob Pearson on Heckler just been to go over and say hello we've been moored you were just opposite that's us down at the end there you can't quite see us he's uh, now headed toward Coventry and we're headed straight down the Grand Union now and we might Drop in and see Simon and Dawn in sunny Northampton. Well, I don't think anything's going to be sunny for the next week. It's all looking a bit grim. But there we go, there's Rob. One of those, I've known him for quite a while, never met him. So there we go, just met him. It's a strange one when boaters say, oh, bump into you again. I hope not. Mind you, there's a good reason they're made of metal. <laughs> they do bump quite well, unlike bumping into someone who's uh, in a fiberglass so there we go off down to uh, down to town lock I'm gonna now pull back here get some diesel hopefully Charlotte will be back soon with shopping and then we too will be off I suppose within the next the next hour it might have been a good idea to try and get off early and go down with Rob share some of those locks but you know, when Charlotte goes shopping, yeah, so there we are. I'm not going to film me trying to squidge round to get some diesel because I might make a complete balls up of it. Ever there was a boat that demonstrated some excellent carpentry skills, this has to be it. On our ray, on our rain, on our rain, in the way, on our car. Come on, should I, should I start again? No, we're on our way. We've just left back there, Kings Marina, and this is uh, this is those two buildings. I think I only filmed this one from the towpath, but the one next to it's quite interesting. Um, it's retained all of the facade with the huge walls on the outside. But on the inside is a big open sort of courtyard with lots of new buildings builded into it, in it. Which is uh, offices, there is. And I was toying with the idea of borrowing their little inside underground car park, but Charlotte's found somewhere else to abandon the boat. So we're coming up to Town Lock, which I filmed from side. Luxury canal side developments. Now, if this were anywhere else, like Sheffield, it would all be derelict. <laughs> That's us.
Yeah, so the river's not sort of quite as clement as perhaps it could have been, but sod it, we're on a boat. These are flood locks to protect Newark. Right, onward. Ooh. Well, it's not quite as cold as I was expecting it to be. That, by the way, is one of my favorite types of board. It's fairly old school and um, it has that that feel of a 1950s adventure to it. I think today is going to be a bit of a drizzly day. But it's not cold. Much. Today is not the best of filming days, boys and girls. We've just cleared Hazelford Lock. Uh, oh, we're on our way to our favourite lock now, which is Gunthorpe. And uh, if I remember, I'll take a, a bit of film showing the big fucking dent in the front of this boat where, oh, many, many years ago, there was uh, the lock keeper had buggered off. I think we were probably going through there about six at night. Really strong wind, really strong current. We couldn't get onto the uh, landing stage. I had three or four goes at it. And then in the end, I just rammed the power on, smacked into it, nearly flipped the boat over and then thought, fuck it. So I reversed up to the side and Charlotte went up the ladder to go and operate the lock. Uh, that, was, that was an adventure. It really, <laughs> really was an adventure. Um, and, and we have the dent as a, a little souvenir, memento of that fine occasion. It, uh, it looks like it's trying to brighten up a little bit up there. I might be wrong, but uh, I think it's probably time for lunch now. So I'm gonna stop filming and start eating. Here we are approaching my least favorite lock on the whole of the UK inland waterways. And what happened last time was we were trying to get onto that little landing stage, but the wind and the current was such that, and they say current, if there's been a lot of rain, there's a huge current comes this way. And, uh, and there's just absolutely no way we were gonna get onto that stage. Um, and that's how I managed to put a big, in the front whacking that stage so um, what we did was I uh, just backed up and then sent Charlotte up that ladder <laughs> but today with any luck we've got a green light we'll just be sliding gently into her there look yes sliding gently in ah just leaving gone for now and this is where we're staying for the night apparently stoke locks not got a lock keeper on and it's uh, quite heavily silted up so be a bastard to get into without a lock keeper uh, so we thought fuck it we're, we're soaked fruit well I am and Marley is soaked fruit to soak fruit to bones so he is so we're gonna try and find somewhere to moor up here uh, that'll be fun if there's lots of boats here. Although, because this lock was out of order until uh, until late yesterday, it's likely that all of the people who are waiting to get through have now gone through. So uh, there should be a few, hopefully, spare moorings. If not, I'll just reverse back. Fucking stick it here and throw the dog up on a ladder. <laughs> no, perhaps not might not be a right good idea for Marley will it um, so yes a reasonably short day cruising for today boys and girls uh, we'll see where we manage to haul up for the night what you have just missed boys and girls was <laughs> I'll put the fender on <laughs> getting Marley from here up to here 
up onto here and then off there. That was that was right funny. <laughs> it wasn't funny, it was scary. I had to bribe him with biscuits to get him to here. Then he stood on here and I'm thinking don't fall backwards because that would have been not very good fun. Um, <laughs> but what a shit mooring to try and get a dog on and off. And this is because Canal and River Trust Hey, it's been a while since I've slagged off the wankers at Canal and River Trust. Um, the next lock is completely inaccessible uh, unless you're a hovercraft. And, um, and Canal and River Trust haven't really mentioned anything about this, but you can't get into it. Our mate Rob, who um, left um, Newark about an hour before us, is currently fucking stuck there. So, another winner for the Canal and River Trust boys and girls. I'm going to start a little Facebook group. <laughs> and you know what I think about Facebook groups. Usually run by wankers and narcissists. So I thought I might as well start my own. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to draw attention to all these, these stupid fucking um, incompetencies from the fuckwits at the Canal and River Trust. So watch this space. Uh, for everybody else who likes to, to watch my little channel, for, for the brewery, brewing stuff, I'm afraid there's going to be a, a little bit of a hiatus. Um, but I'm going to try and knock in a couple of local breweries as we go along. And um, so I might be doing a couple of brewery visits. Uh, they won't be very professional. That'll be me just walking in saying, Oh, can I take some video of you, please? Can I? And then they'll probably say, Look, fuck off, hippie. But you never know. Um, so anyway, for now, I'm going back inside. Uh, and, and we're going to worry about how to get the fucking dog back on in a little while. We don't want him falling down there because he is a bit stupid, is Marley. So he doesn't like the gangplank either but I might actually end up putting a gangplank across. <sighs> In fact, I think I will put a gangplank across because he is stupid. <laughs> we'll see, the next bit of video might be me fishing a dog out of the River Trent. <laughs> just to tell the boys and girls that we got you back on a lot easier than we imagined with the aid of biscuits did we give you biscuits to get you back on he was a, a lot better than i expected anyway that's it for today boys and girls thanks canal and river trust you wankers and um yeah onward tomorrow let's see uh see how far we get probably not very far if uh there's a huge sandbank and everyone gets stuck on it. But maybe on Monday we'll see a notice about that from Canal and River Trust. If you like this complete twaddle, or if you like hearing me just slagging off the Canal and River Trust, who, by the way, are a complete bunch of wankers, then uh, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and all that sort of shit. Until next time, from Marley and me, cheers.